let's see how to write assembly language programming for microcontroller using keel and proteus so this is a keel microvision just open keel microvision to develop the program So here select project tab and choose the option new microvision project and now I am giving name Ivo port programming. So this is the project name I am going to give and which saved in the specific drive which is E and A sim programs so this file you need to save this is a project name I am giving here and here these are all controller manufacturers so this ID supports for all different families and from here you need to choose a specific device from specific manufacturer from here I'm going to work with Atmel microcontroller and select that and just click on this plus mark it will show the list of devices from this manufacturer and from this list you need to choose a specific device and here the device is AD89C51 select the device and click on symbol ok and this is a startup code warning you need to click on no and up to now you created a project with a specific device which is atmel 889c51 now open editor window to write the program further go file tab and choose the option new and here you need to type the program before type the program save this file with specific extension and again saving this file go file tab and choose the option save and give the program name like I'm going to give the same name as project name even you can give different names but dot asm is the extension which requires to save the program so dot asm is mandatory here means in which language you are writing program just save the file and now type your program I just want assign some random values to IVO ports so generally by default ports are maintaining logic ones so that FFH is the default hexadecimal value of these IVO ports and now just I am assigning some random values So these are four IVO ports. I am giving this default against default values. I am going to give some random values. A default hexadecimal value is FFH. for all IVO ports so these values I am assigning to IVO ports and now I will check these values whether these values are moving into IVO port or not and to compile this program just select source group 1 this is 
target one from project workspace window just click on this list mark you'll get source group one and select this source group and right click it and choose the option add files to source group one and here so which file you are looking to compile with respect to target but by default it will show C source file type so that you need to change this source file to AASM and from this different assembly language programs you need to select which file you are looking to compile Just select that IVO port programming file as what you did now and add choose this option add and close it once the file is added you'll get plus mark with source group 1 which program you are going to compile after adding the file with source group 1 just go project tab and choose the option build target so if you have any errors and warnings in this program it will show clearly on this output window so now i just want cross check whether these values are moving into ivo ports or not further go debug tab and choose the option starter stop debug session So this open different windows like left side of your window you will find all the registers which are present in your 8051 and but now I am not looking for registers I am looking for IVO ports. So where these IVO ports are available in debug session go peripherals tab and choose the option IVO port. Which port you are looking in program but now I used all four IVO ports just open one by one entering into same option port 0 this is and again go peripheral tab and choose IVO ports and select next port port 1 just drag it to observe the values according to your program and next open port 2 and next open port 3 so these are the random values but see all these ports by default they are maintaining FFH but now click your cursor on program window and use function key F11 from your keyboard so the first line I executed the arrow shows in which line you are executing now so I got port 0 value as 56 as per my values and next in port 1 what I am expecting 78 use function key F11 to execute the next line so in port 1 I got 78 H and next P2 I am looking to assign 45 so that execute next line which is this line is executed and next function key F11 so that I got all the four different values to four different IO ports and this is the window disassembly this window is also gives complete clarity on of course of these individual instructions because you know that assembly language program which cannot compile directly with respect to device which converts into op codes so each instruction will generate op codes so the equivalent op codes of these individual instructions you can find out from this assembly window so 75 is the mnemonic op code and 80 is p1 address and 56 is the value like this every port have their own address 75 90 and 78 so 75 is 
move instruction of code and 90 is p1 address a0 is p2 address b0 is p3 address so this this uh, this is the process to execute your instructions in assembly language this is a very simple program with respect to ipo ports and to stop this debug session again go debug tab and choose the option stop so here i just assign some random values to ipo port and just cross check the values whether the same values which are moving to ipo ports or not so this is your simple assembly language program thanks for watching